Hey guys, Superior David here, back with my first Superior deck tech of the new expansion. I've been killing it on ladder with this Galakrond Warlock list, climbing from like 5k legend back into the top 1000. Quite a marathon of a climb if I do say so myself. This is the only deck I've found that can reliably contest Demon Hunter, and it does pretty well against the rest of the field, so it's just a great deck if you're looking to rank up. We're not reinventing the wheel with this list, but I do want to go over the strategy and some of the new cards so you guys know what's up. One of the new cards in the block here is Moarg Artificer. This Burning Legion MVP allows you to heal for 8 health with your Nether Breast when you target a minion, or even 16 if you have both on board. 16! It sets up great tempo turns with ridiculous healing, and this card is just awesome in Warlock. Sleeper card of the set. We're also running a couple Unstable Felt Bolts, which I was actually lukewarm on at first, but just having another piece of removal is great against Demon Hunter. And in slower matchups, it allows you to save your Nether Breast so you can go face with them to close out games instead of using them as minion removal. Very important. Then the last new card we run is Overconfident Orc, just a solid anti-aggro tech card that slows down the game and gives you time to draw into removal or AoE. It's definitely no Tar Creeper, but the 6 health means that usually like 2 minions will have to trade in, so it's again very good at slowing down the game. The general game plan against Demon Hunter and I guess other aggro decks if they're out there is to mainly just survive and run your opponent out of resources since we're a control deck. Once they're low on resources, you stick a couple minions if they haven't already conceded and then you just smash them in the face. In these matchups, I'll slap down a non-fully invoked Galakrond in a pinch just to gain some extra life, and I try to combo Moarg Artificer with Nether Breath for extra life gain when I can. Um, you really need to respect Demon Hunter's ability to burst you down, because they just have ridiculous reach. So don't be too greedy with those seals, guys. The mulligan is pretty straightforward against aggro. Uh, you really want your removal and AoE cards. I think the most important is Dark Skies, followed by uh, Nether Breath and Unstable Felbolt. Uh, against Demon Hunter, it's also totally cool to keep a sack pack, because you just delete one of their minions and uh, gain some life. Pretty powerful. If you already have removal though, then it's okay to keep a Dragonblight Cultist or even an Overconfident Orc just so you can get on the board faster. I'll also keep the Devoted Maniac on the coin so I could like tempo that out with the coin on turn three. Very nice play. As for the game plan against slower decks, you typically want to be the aggressor and then you slap down a fully invoked Galakron and follow that up with a Kronks or either Alex Straza to close out the game. Most people's first instinct is to use Kronks to buff a wide board to push lethal damage, which honestly most opponents are expecting, so they're going to hardcore play around it. i found that it's much better to use Kronks as burst alongside the Galakron weapon and Nether Breast because it's just much harder for decks to interact with that, especially now that Zilliax is out of the meta. Most decks just don't have healing now. If you can Alex your opponent down to 15 health, then you can actually kill them the following turn with uh, a weapon swing, Kronks, and a single Nether Breath. Very important combo to know, and I'd say this is how I win most of my uh, slower matchups, especially the Mirror. As for the Mulligan, I'd say Dragon Black Cultist, Devoted Maniac with like a Dark Skies for safety is pretty good. On the coin, I'll even keep a Shield of Galakron, and if I have two Invoke cards, I will usually keep a Veiled Worshipper as well if I have it. Then specifically against Spell Druid, I will Hard Mulligan for a Crazy Netherwing just so I can answer a turn 5 Glowfly Swarm, because I feel like you just lose the matchup if you can't. Okay, so now before we get into some gameplay here, drop a like if this video helped you out because it really helps me out. And if you still have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments below, or you can ask me over on Twitch where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Link will be down in the description. Now time for some superior gameplay. Ooh, Demon Hunter, yes. We like the Demon Hunters. And we love this hand, oh boy. And on this day, David's heart grew three times its size. Uh, we got the sack pack, the foul bolt, I'm just... I'm over the moon. Watch us, watch us lose this game now, which is such a beautiful opening hand. Um, but here we go. Oh, beautiful. Keep it up. Just get that out of here. We hate it. If we didn't have the unstable foul bolt, we would have just, like, passed the turn and then, like, um, killed the following turn with the sack pack. No big deal. Um, and now we have the option to kill this next turn with the foul bolt. I'm, oh my god, I'm actually gonna, I'm just gonna life tap, we, we, we have like a lot of removal, but we don't have much in the terms of like threats of our own, so I'm like, I don't know, I'm pretty confident we could like deal with anything he throws at us, so I, I, I want to prioritize getting some cards right now. Oh boy, well that's gotta go. Hmm. Might even be better to deal with this board with a uh, Dark Skies, because I'm like, oh, we could like Life Tap, Fell Bolt this, Sack Pack. But then we lose two cards, and that makes Dark Skies weaker. And these guys, I mean, like the Sack Packs, they could deal with many dudes. And like this will just clear the whole board, so I think we will go with the uh, Dark Skies here. And the Sack Pack will be really good next turn. If he plays like a Demon, we could Sack Pack, and then also develop the Shield of Galakron. Oh, I see. 
Oh yeah, that that's that's the play next turn. Oh yes, beautiful. I uh, just like see how how in control we are this game right now. Um, let's see. We're gonna play the one that we kept in the mulligan because if we play the one off the top, I don't know, he'll be wondering what this card we kept in the mulligan was. So I think we just do something like this. Too greedy to kill the second one with the sack pack. We don't really need to do that. We have the second uh, shield of Galakrond, so that's pretty dope. Oof. This card. This is this is the new card that you gotta worry about with Demon Hunter. Um, they'll combine this with the Satter and just make a full board of tutus and you, it sort of sucks for you um we play the shield of galakrond to trade in the two uh, one ones into the two two and then next turn we could devote a maniac and hero power uh you want to be able to like develop and then also weave in these hero powers even against uh demon hunter because our health is like pretty high and we're sort of like running low on cards so we just want to keep the pressure going and make him make him work for it right now and we're really hoping he doesn't have that uh, Skull of Gul'dan. He hasn't touched this card, which he got back in the mulligan, so this could be the Skull. Nope, no Skull. Cool, no Skull this turn, we're happy. We're really happy about that. He's smacking us in the face with something, though. Oh, it's the 5 mana 7-4. Which, I will be shocked that this card doesn't get nerfed at some point. Um, this is not a demon. This card would be so much easier to deal with if it had the demon tag. Uh, we have a couple ways to deal with this. I think the best is still Devoted Maniac. Um, we just trade in the 2 one ones and the 2-2. Two -two. Um, just good to get the body down. Uh, I guess we could also like trade Felbolt, but we could use this Felbolt for something else. Hmm. Yeah, I, I want a hero power. Okay, we have a dragon. Oh. I mean, we could Artifice or Nether Breath. Is that too early for that? I know he is running low on cards. We do we do have a sack pack if he has like the Priestess of Fury. I'm actually I'm I'm still gonna go with the Devoted Maniac just because I think this like this sort of combo would be better against like, you, you, even like a Priestess of Fury would be better against. Um, even though we have the sack pack, but also a cane. We don't really have a way to deal with a cane too well, so I'm gonna do something like this. And maybe now he might feel safer. He'll safer about playing a bigger minion. They'll be like, oh, that's like that was his best answer there. All right, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh well, he's got the second one. Okay, never mind. I take that back. We're just we're gonna nether breath the second one here. Dear God, it's so much damage. I can't. It's crazy how much damage they they can push out. And we're just gonna we're gonna be mean. We're gonna be mean because I don't I don't really care for niceties with uh, demon hunters. Doesn't pay to be nice against demon hunter. And. Yeah, well, yeah, well, fuck it. That might have been a little too greedy because now, like, we don't have any more um, uh, removal. Top deck the Skull Gul down. We do have the Plague of Flame, so that's sort of nice. I don't know. Oh, he just conceded. So, see, like, that's how Demon Hunter games sort of go. You just sort of heal out, you run them out of resources. Um, and then they just realized, like, you know, can't win this game. Nemzy. Druid. Oh, man. I really don't like Spell Druid. Ugh. It's really unfortunate, because this is, like, really good against other... <sighs> against other slower decks. I might keep the Cultist, but toss back the Maniac to try and get a, uh... Netherwing. This is just, like, Dragon Black Cult is just so good to have. It's, like, one of our highest, highest Mulligan win rate cards. I don't know if that's necessarily true against Druid, but um, I don't. I feel really bad tossing it back. Sort of feel bad about tossing it back to Voted Maniac, but I feel... I, I think we really want that Netherwing, so I'm going to do something like this. Oh, boom, we got it. There we go. We have a chance now. And we're going to squelch the opponent, because I don't want to hear what Andre has to say. Nice, nice, very slow. And this is why it sort of sucks to toss back the Devoted Maniac, because we, we did end up getting a Veiled Worshipper, and now we won't be able to get that down for a few turns. Okay, we, we, we're hoping he burns a minion. Burn a Kael'thas. Okay, did not burn a Kael'thas. Never lucky. 
Uh, this deck is basically just like a solitaire deck. It's very uninteractive. This might even be his overgrowth, and he's just going to ramp really hard this turn. Like, this is either like overgrowth or Kalefist. I don't know what else you'd keep in the mulligan. Okay, he's playing the Wrath. Is he going to cycle the Wrath? No, no cycle. Wow, okay. So, it's little, his hand must be a little clunky, I guess. Well, he must have everything you need in hand, so he doesn't want to he doesn't wanna draw anything. He probably doesn't. He probably has like the no. He wants to save the coin for the the seven mana five eight that summons the beast. So we have the overgrowth. So I'm just convinced that this card is Kalthus now. Um, but we'll play you. We're just gonna prepare for this big turn the best we can. We have the Galakron, which is nice. We might have to play this earlier than we'd like, because sometimes I play it early just so I have access to the Kronk's board clear later on. But with the coin, he could dirt, Drew could just do like disgusting things. Like the, he could get down like the Glowfly Swarm and also drop like a uh, Soul of the Forest. Okay, that's that's not too bad. I don't know if you keep do you keep that in the Mulligan. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem correct. Oh god. Ooh, that's he's doing us dirty there. He's doing us dirty. Um, let's see. We got a. This has to die. And I think the best way to do that is uh, Artificer Nether Breath. We actually can't play the Nether Wing because we only have one dragon, so that's a little scary. And unfortunately, he's going to be able to kill our kill our dudes. We'll just go face. He's going to be able to make this trade, which I'm not happy about. But now we have two more invoke cards, so we could possibly get down to fully invoke Galakrond. Very good in this matchup. Um, just great tempo. I'm really hoping for no Glowfly Swarm. I might actually play the Veiled Worshipper just so we get like a dragon and have the Netherwing online. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. Okay, looks like we need to clear this board off. We're not gonna. We're, we're gonna lose if we keep clearing, but. We need to draw a second dragon here. We could, like, manage the board a bit this turn. He'll play the second Soul of the Forest, or the Forest Aid. Um, so I'm thinking something like this. I guess life tap. Oh, I should life tap first. I mean, we're in it too deep. Uh, of course we get the dragon. Um, but we're going to do something like this. And now he's gonna play. He's gonna play that second forest aid right now. I'd be shocked if he doesn't. He could play like low fly swarm into soul of the forest. That would be horrible, and we'd lose the game. But I'm pretty sure he's playing the forest aid. Yeah, there we go. Maybe coin out uh, something to combo with it. Nope. Okay. We go face. We. Uh, I mean, hero power first. Just. Just because that's what you do. You you drop the hero power first. If we, I wish we were able to get the shield of Galakron down. Um, because we really want to get this invoke Galakron off, fully invoked. Um, but if we have to, we'll play it just so we can get the Kronk's board clear the turn after. No Glowfly Swarm. Don't, don't do me like this, Druid. Okay, cool. So he's, he's digging. If he top decks the Glowfly Swarm, we're going to be in trouble. We just need one more, one, one slow turn, and we got this. And we don't get the slow turn. Oh boy. I mean, the good news is I don't think he has Soul the Force if he's making plays like this. Um, we're gonna do boom, boom. I want to just like go very wide on the board and try and force him to trade with us. I think that will allow that will set us up better for the next turn, especially having a taunt here, because this deck runs just like crazy buffs. They run like Gift of the Wild. Which is plus two, plus two, and taunts, you know? So, like, I want to have a board here. I'm hoping he just, like... Oh, yeah, he looks like he's trading off. He's going to try and set up another board, which is, like, totally cool with me. Because now we can set up a Galakron. We're getting, we're, we've been very fortunate this game. No Soul of the Forest. No Soul of the Forest. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this is what this is what happens a lot with uh, spell 
Druid. They just don't get the cards like the like the Kelthus or the Soul of the Force, and it's a, you can actually deal with the deck. It's pretty great when that happens. I find those moments few and far between. Um, we're gonna do this. Actually, right, we play the Galakron first because we could get the the two two that buffs up stuff. Um, we're gonna Hero Power. Not the two two. The the big dude with Taunt. That guy that sees a lot of play in Battlegrounds. Oh, hey there. Um, we'll do this. And you know, I realize we have this Unstable Fell Bolt. I don't think we'll need it. I don't think he could kill us. With this big old 12-12 to contest all of his minions. Maybe we do just play the Fell Bolt. We'll go down a minion. Mm. I don't think he could kill us. I think we'll be okay. Famous last words, but I think we will be okay. The Mount Cellar, okay. We also have the Plague of Flames, too. I, I totally blanked on this. Another reason why we... I mean, we had the Plague of Flames, we had the Kronk's board clear, so I think we're like pretty set in terms of like managing his board. Um, he doesn't have... We saw both Glowfly Swarms. Whoa. Whoa. Does he realize that this can't attack heroes? Because that seems like a... Or maybe he's just trying to get the extra beast. I'm like, why is he... Doing this. This is okay. This is okay, guys. If only this could attack heroes. Oh my god. It'd be too OP, though. It'd be way too OP. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna drop a Kronks. I mean, can we win? We could do 11 damage face. No, we can't even, no, we can't win. We kill you. I guess we could have Kronks then, nah, nah, nah. I mean, we, if we Unstable Fell Bolted that, then it, we this still would have taken damage. Not as much, but I think it's, it'll be, it's, it'll be nice to have the Fell Bolt just in case. Now we Kronks for removal. Deal five damage to all the minions. And this is sort of like how we win this, you know? We just, we get fortunate that he doesn't have certain cards. And he just concedes. There we go. Wow. You know, you gotta, you love it when it happens. You love it when it happens. When they don't have the Kelthus, you are very happy. And there we go, guys. There we go. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the deck guide, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.